video is going to be for Scorpios. I'm going to start with my Guardian Angel cards. Oracle cards this time. So I have a win-win situation. <clears throat> Some of you might have been, um, what's the word I want to use? Kind of like the sun card. Nobody's really losing here except for the person who has left you. It says there's strength and diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start focusing on the aspects of that aspects of everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise on working together. So this is about you working with someone that you might have never thought you would be working about it's like collaborating new ideas so it's like nobody loses and nobody wins because both people are coming together the spiritual teacher there are great rewards of spending time alone this is like the card of the hermit it has the same hermit type of energy use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways you which might give to those around you so those of you Scorpios, for those of you Scorpios who are alone right now, <laughs> it's nothing wrong with that. It's also nothing wrong with leaving someone behind because it's going to turn out good in the end. And then helper of action. You're blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first. And that's exactly why your spiritual teacher is telling you to be alone right now. Because some of you, you know what you want to do, but you have to make a plan. If you could take time to make the plan first, but you probably don't have the time. So get busy following your instincts and have fun. You or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and you could do anything with a smile. So this is all about, you know, leaving someone behind and just focusing on yourself because it's going to turn out fair. Fair decisions is on the bottom of the deck. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stay in your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all of the details. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. And that's why it leads right back to the win-win solution. So, you know, it's kind of like leaving someone because you had to be fair or standing up for something. A win-win solution. Because you left, because, you took, because you're taking time to focus on yourself, it's, it's going to come out better in the end for a win-win solution. Let's, see. Let's get it to the reading. Scorpio. Four of Pentacles wanted to come out. Some of you are being fin financially cautious. You're, you're worrying about your money and the good, the good routes to take. Also, some of you are just looking into a situation more um, deeper. Page of Wands. Enthusiastic. You're ready to discover something. See some moving on here. Nine of Cups fell over. I feel like some of you are going to be leaving someone behind and focusing on yourselves. And this person that you're going to be leaving behind, it might might have been someone that you were building up with at a point. 
or something that has been long term, something that has been planted. It could have been an investment at a point in the time. Scorpios, you could have been dealing with a Leo, Aries, a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. That's your energy in the middle. You're moving on. You want to discover better things for yourself. Some of you are tired of waiting for this person to get their act together. What is this? Will of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Will of Fortune, I always see, yeah. Scorpio, this is you walking away and leaving your emotions behind. And maybe still having faith in the situation, but some of you just cannot take it anymore. Will of Fortune, I always say, it's a, it's a cycle of change, but it leads to destiny. So just like the win-win solution, guardian angel card I pulled, some of you are going to have to switch up certain things in order to really have something come back if you want it that bad. But you can't really say stuck trying to have this person get their self together and wanting all of this if you never leave, sadly. Page of Pentacles, new career. Just goals, manifestation. The High Priestess, some of you already knew this. Some of you have a book of things that you want to do or just different things that you knew about already. The death card did pop out. What is this? Devil, Empress, Two of Wands. Someone, hmm, someone could be Capricorn is uh, devil energy. However, someone could be chained to someone or addicted to some type of bad addiction. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be another person. But with that Empress card there, I either feel like they're either in their own situation that's not doing too good and that's why it's just best for you to walk away scorpios yeah they're holding themselves back from something or someone is having money issues however this is not something that you want to invest in see why is this page of wands here knight of pentacles yeah, some of you definitely could be dealing with the Capricorn. However, some of you are just ready to move on. You have a plan for things to become better. Nine of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Someone was giving their time and being very generous. And Scorpios, I feel like it's you because the Nine of Cups is your energy, which is a cup. And the Six of Pentacles is you giving extra love or being real generous in a situation. Maybe like that um, Seven of Cups fantasy wanting something to happen knowing that the person has not got their self together the strength will of fortune again yeah some of you have you're going to have to have the strength this is card of leo but you're going to have to have the strength to just walk away and destiny is going to lead you all back but some of you are giving yourselves to somebody who really took advantage of it and they'll learn. But if you stay with someone and they're still taking advantage of you, they're not going to learn their lesson because you're always there. Temperance, trying to balance things out. This is uh, Sagittarius energy. I see it uh, could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius because Juan's a Sagittarius. However, someone was trying to balance something or protect, cover, and hide. Someone could also could have also stopped talking to you because they didn't want you to find out something when they was trying to protect something. 
However, either way is extremely sneaky. Somebody might have been hiding an addiction they had, something they were battling, maybe work-related money issues. But they're trying to create balance. Angel is pouring her cups into the earth, one foot in the water. Queen of Pentacles. Someone who's down to earth, someone who's motherly. So this person could have saw you as a mother role model, a mother figure, someone who understands a lot. Scorpio, you could have your financial situation going good. This person could also feel like you have <laughs> too much going on for them. I feel like this person is um someone. It's like a battle. Usually when you get in a relationship with someone, that person is supposed to help you. But I feel like this energy is more like they, they're embarrassed. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. I just said that. Queen of Pentacles is someone who's like a mother. She has knowledge. She has common sense. She's down to earth. She knows what to do. Eight of Pentacles is someone trying to be on the same page as you. Someone trying to build themselves up. It's also the card of engagement. Someone might have been wanting to get engaged to you, but they're not sure how you feel because they have um, they have to build themselves up first. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles, someone who's down to earth and doesn't mind this situation, but that's not how they are. This is someone who doesn't want to be in a relationship unless they have their selves together, which is understanding. You know why would you? Settle for less. Why is this Six of Pentacles here? Okay, cards are just flying out. I saw the Six of Swords. Leaving, getting mental clarity. Transformation, mental shift. Why is the Six of Swords here? All right, the Empress popped out again. Some of you are going to have to watch out, and there's the Fool. Some of you are going to have to watch out for fertility. If you've been expecting it or wanting it, I do see it coming. Some of you, like, you won this relationship. You wanted certain things to happen, but it didn't. So you're in a Nine of Swords, maybe. You're feeling kind of depressed anxiety because you don't know what's going on you're feeling a little bit of depression but you want a new beginning with the fool some of you are upset that this did not happen strength leo Strength is all about inner power. So, exactly. Some of you are going to have to get up out of this energy. This nine of swords, it become a lion, become strength. This is also the queen of pentacles, kind of queen of cups energy. That whole down-to-earth motherly, trying to tame someone, trying to get someone in order, calm them down. And, you know, it's the same empress roses around her. The same infinity sign as the empress. I mean, um, the magician and the high priest. Why is this empress card here? Because she's popped out twice. Scorpios, 
you all know how your energy is. Someone definitely thinks that you're very sensual and passionate, and that's why they want to be with you. But at the same time, that doesn't cover everything. I'm going to switch up my cards. Why is this Empress card here? Hmm. Oh, wow. Empress came up twice, you all. Either someone has a child with someone else, they definitely think you're a very high feminine energy. I don't want to say they have a child with someone else. They might, but Empress is just feminine energy. So something is going to be like either they want to create something with you. They're really highly attracted to you because the Empress has popped up twice. Four swords, they're thinking about it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're thinking about how to come back in. To this empress. You know, she's popped up twice. Yeah. They're definitely thinking of how to come back in. They want something new and creative. Scorpios, that's your energy. Somebody had an idea and they wanted to create something. Ace of Cups, new love. Yeah, there it is. Oh, man, Six of Swords. <clears throat> Someone with this Ace of Cups and Two of Wands, they wanted to discover, they wanted to kind of move closer, progress, build things up with you. And it was something, it was a lot of compassion and intimacy. That's what the Ace of Cups actually means. Compassion, intimacy, and new love. So there's a lot of intimacy going on here that someone either wants, but it's like someone's not in the picture with this two of wands. It's a wand there, and the other hand is there, but it's not physically coming up. It's kind of like the um, Knight of Cups. Like the person's coming in, but it's not a commitment. It's not. It's just like a passionate intimacy right now. And new love. Why is this Empress card here? Four of Pentacles. This is someone, yeah, okay. So you, Scorpio, you have a very high feminine energy and they might have left you out in the cold or was hiding their selves, hiding you from something. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Also, some of you could feel lost, alone, and secure, maybe, because what you wanted didn't happen. Some of you might be feeling like it's you. Some of you could be going through fertility issues. The sun, yeah, that's what they want. That's you all's overall image of each other, is the sun balance through just like creating peace mm -hmm. there's two of cups page of swords that carries about you they want a new beginning with you 
four of pentacles again financially holding themselves back watching out there might be some money issues too because fertility came up twice feminine energy should i say someone wants to either someone some of you scorpios have a new person coming in with new love or someone's coming back from the past as the fool and they want something new And the sun is leading up to the four of cups. I mean, who, excuse me, two of cups. Two of cups is different than the lover's card. Lovers is all about trials or tribulations. Two people who come together and they've been through a lot. Two of cups is more about partnership and attraction. So some of you are just getting a partnership back on track. You're highly attracted to each other. some romance angels but I still see this person having to get their selves together because I do feel like they're hiding something I just <clears throat> for those of you Scorpios you know you can always book a personal reading with me but I'm just going to use the romance angels right now Angels, Scorpio. Hmm. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So yeah, you guys already met each other. That's why some of you have like the feeling that it could just be the one. And that you never did. This is why some of you didn't want to. Whoa. This is why some of you didn't want to. Um. I'm going to pick up the cards that flew out the deck, actually. Oh, they're all the way over here, y'all. <laughs> oh, boy. Forgiving and learning, honeymoon, finances and career, reconciliation, and getting to know each other. That's what we're going to go with today. Codependency is on the bottom. So someone is having addictions. And it's affecting their romantic life, whether it's sexually, emotionally, physically addicted to alcohol, drugs, anything. It, that's, what's, uh, that's what's affecting their life. And that's what's not allowing for them to be the best they can be. Some of you have to get to know each other again. As you reveal and open up, your bond deepens with each other. So if this person comes in and they show you who they truly are... I felt like that's what they've already done. This is why you want to help. And this is why at the same time you want to walk away because you actually know who they are. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Yeah, somebody you know already. Forgive and learn. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. Celebrations may be coming up. Birthdays. Things that might bring you all together or just make you guys cross paths. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. That explains the four pinnacles popping up so many times. And I did feel like someone was hiding something. Someone spending their money on something, whether it's gambling or... But they have to get themselves together. But there's attraction, there's compassion, there's intimacy that wants to be happening. There's the fool, there's ace of cups. And again, fair decisions, helper of action, spiritual teacher. Yeah, some of you want to help this person. You're like a guidance for them. But you have to kind of walk away at a certain time in order for them to realize what they've lost. So Scorpios, this was your personal general reading slash